What's up, guys? It's Casey Zogelman, a.k.a. the Fort Sanderson sister, coming at you with another Hocus Pocus merch news update. In today's video, I'm going to be updating you guys on a couple of pieces of merch, one of which we aren't sure is coming and one of which we know is coming. Um, so I'll go with the one that we know is coming first because that's what we're actually here for. Um, so this is an article from All Hallows Geek. It was actually back in March, but back then we did not have any images of the merch that would be coming out. But now, as of this week, we have a picture of the merch. So this is Hocus Pocus getting Little People's Collector's Set for film's 30th anniversary. You guys remember those little, um, well, little people figurines from back in the day? Yeah, they're still doing those. Um, but now they're doing, like, collector's ones, which is pretty darn cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they, they have the office and stuff like that already. They have the Golden Girls, kind of want those. But, um, this is a very short article. And it's Disney's Hocus Pocus is set to celebrate its 30th anniversary this year. And based on a pre-order listing that recently arrived from Entertainment Earth, it would appear that to celebrate, the Sanderson sisters will be joining the likes of E.T. and getting turned into Fisher Price Little People. The Hocus Pocus Little People collector figure set will come in witch themed packaging and contain all three sisters, Winifred, Sarah, and Mary Sanderson. Each figure measures approximately two and three quarter inches tall and one and a quarter inches wide. Unfortunately, as of this writing, no product image is available, but it is available now for us, and they are available to uh, pre order for $19.99. I've already got that, in case anyone needed to know. Um, mine are already pre-ordered, so whenever I do get them, we'll be looking at them in depth on this channel. So, no need to worry there. So, we're going to actually look at this image a little bit more. Um, the first thing I'd like to note, I'm kind of surprised and a little disappointed that it's just the witches. Like, there are more characters. I know a lot of people don't care about the other characters, but no Billy, not even Billy. There's no Billy. There's no Binks. There's no Max, Allison, Danny. Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why we're only getting three figures, which is Sarah Mary Winifred, and we're going to talk about how cute they are in a second, but, like, where's everybody else? <laughs> where's everybody else? Like, I'm kind of upset that we're not at least, at least getting Billy. How are we not at least getting Billy? Like, what, 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 what? <laughs> I don't understand the thinking behind this. I mean... I don't... No, I don't. There is no excuse for this one. I was just trying to justify it in my head, and it's not working. Um, it's not working. There is no justifying that. Um, Billy's missing. Binks is missing. You could have at least put those two in there if we had to take the bare minimum. But, I mean... I guess we'll just uh, get what we get, and we won't throw a fit. <laughs> that's what I say to a lot of little kids is you get what you get and you don't throw a fit and that's I guess what we need to be doing but let's look at how cute the Sanderson sisters are for a second here <laughs> like they're adorable they're adorable they're adorable this is another one of those things that are the that I'm really happy that these are coming out now but I'm kind of bummed out that these were not around when I was a little, <laughs> whenever I was a little, because my brother had little people. We had little people. We played with little people around here. And I would have played with these all daggum day long. <laughs> like, where were these when I was a little baby? Where were these when I was a little baby witch? Like, I'm really happy kids today have this kind of stuff, but I'm very jealous that, like, my little four-year-old self didn't get to have these and make up adventures like she did with all of her other toys. Like, would have played the, played with these things 
so much. Just like I would have done the uh, NECA figurines that are hanging up on my wall now. Um, which if you haven't watched that uh, unboxing merch review, you can watch it by clicking on this thing right here. <laughs> um, they're so freaking cute. They're so freaking cute. This might be one of my more favorite Winifreds. I'm going to say that right now. She's adorbs. And I know everybody's going to be like, but she has eyebrows. Dude, they got to show expression. And it's hard to do. It's like it's like Lego Voldemort. He's the only character with a nose. Look. It, like, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I think... I think it's great. I think she's adorable. I like that they got the heart-shaped lips right, her little buck teeth right. They even got her rings on her fingers. That's pretty awesome. Like, they even did some symbols on her cloak or on her dress. They got the colors right, which I'm happy about. For the most part, they got the colors right. Let me rephrase that. She's got red poking out from under her sleeves. She's never had red before, but, I mean, it, it'll work. Uh, the hair shape is right. The earrings, like, they got everything pretty well covered on her. Um, again, I know a lot of people are just gonna be like, but she has eyebrows. Well, leave it be. I think it's adorable. Um, Winifred, Winifred looks really good. Sarah is cute as crap. She's cute as crap. <laughs> I just love her so much. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Hers is probably the most accurate, if you want my opinion. Um, I like the expression they gave her. Um, she looks confused, which is always an emotion for Sarah Sanderson. <laughs> always confused. Never understands what's going on half the time until she does and could have saved their lives. But, you know, we never listen to her when that happens. <laughs> Oil of boil and a dead man's nose. <laughs> dead man's tongue! This is perfect for that little toe-headed brat. We have a child. <gasps> I, I don't think he cares for that spell. I have yeah, mixed feelings about it. <laughs> spell. But like her hair looks good. They even got like the little waves in her hair. That looks awesome. Her hair's the right color. They got her necklace on her. They even got the little freckle on the chin. Like that's this is pretty great. The colors on hers are most accurate, um, down to the shoes, like, or the bottom of the dress, like, hers looks really, really, really good, um, from a design standpoint. It looks really cute. I can't wait to see these in person. Um, <laughs> like, it's, it's really cute. Um, so, that's about all I got to say for Sarah. They did miss kind of some of the embroidery on her dress, but like, I'm willing to let that slide because they got the color palette correct, which is what I care about a lot because even Disney's like, we're going to put Mary in yellow and black half the time in our merch. And I'm like, she's not in Hufflepuff house right now. She is a Hufflepuff, but like, she's not wearing Hogwarts robes. Why do you keep doing that? Stop it. <laughs> she wears red. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Um, speaking of Mary, let's head over to hers. Hers is cute. I'm gonna go ahead and point it out. I love the fact that she's the only one holding a prop. I kind of feel like we missed an opportunity to give the other two a couple of props. But I like that she's holding a prop. And the prop that she's holding is a remote control from that part in the, uh, in Master's house. Like, that's cute AF. I love it. Yes. Just applause. Um, for the most part, they got her color palette right on her outfit. Um, uh, from where I'm standing, the gray kind of... Okay, now that I've turned the brightness up, it actually looks gray. It looked at a little blue while I had the brightness turned down, so you guys don't see everything in my glasses. Um, her hair could have been a little bit more propped up. They could have done a little bit better job on her hair, but they even went as far as to put a couple purple highlights in there, so kudos to that one. They could have just gotten the hair a little bit more uh, witch hatty. She kind of looks like she's got a bob right now, but I mean, it might look different whenever I get a better look at it up close and in person. Um, they even got the little rings hanging off her vest. Like, that was really good. They got her little freckle, and her mouth is crooked, and it's pointed to the right, which I know a lot of people would be 
hounding them about if they hadn't gotten that right. But um, she has the kindest looking expression, which is kind of funny considering she's the one I would be most afraid of in real life. <laughs> but she's got the kindest looking expression. She just looks so cute. All three of them look really, really good. Like, kudos, Fisher Price. Kudos. <laughs> like, I'm, a, I'm impressed <laughs> with how... How good you guys did with these, like, good job. Seriously, good job. But, that said, where's Billy? Where's Binks? Where's Max? Where's Allison? Where's Danny? Where's everybody else? <laughs> like, we're, we're missing some people. If you could just, you know, if you have to make a second set of these to put the rest of them in there, that'd be great. I don't care. Um, but the fact that you're only giving us three characters is kind of a bummer, and... It's even more of an insult to injury that we don't even get Billy. Like, everybody at least includes Billy. The NECA figurines that you guys can't see because they're off frame, but they're hanging above my closet. Um, they even include Billy. Like, I'm a little insulted on Billy's behalf that he's not included in this. Because little baby zombie Billy is a little people. That would have been adorable. Like, that would have been so cute. Where's Billy? <laughs> Where's Billy? <laughs> Just... Why is he not here? Um, but they're so cute, and I love them, and I can't wait to get a hold of them. I've already got mine on pre-order um, from Entertainment Earth. Uh, and with them being only 20 bucks, I think that's pretty great. Um, but they're cute. They're so cute. Now, the other piece of merch I want to talk about is the Lego set <laughs> that has been rumored for a long time now. And... Everybody's like, well, it's probably going to come out this year. Maybe. Possibly. I think. Kind of. And I'm just like, it's the 30th anniversary year. The fact that you guys did not release it last year during Hocus Pocus 2 is a bit confusing. And if we don't get an actual answer before this year is over... Bruh. Are you even making this? Are you even making this? Um, so I googled it because I was curious... Um, from Brick Fanatics, they say, we're expecting to see Amber Vett's Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson Sisters Cottage, on shelves sometime in 2023. Based on comments from Lego Ideas James designer James May, given the subject matter, the safe money would be on a release in time for Halloween. So we're going to look at the other one. Um, James May, who moved to the LEGO Ideas design team in 2022, has teased four sets that he's been working on for 2023 over Twitter. On the short list are BTS, Dynamite, Hocus Pocus, The Sanderson Sisters, Cottage, and two others that I don't really care about. Given all LEGO Ideas sets are based on user-generated submissions approved during review periods, that only leads us to a single conclusion. At least one project will get the green light in the next review. So, we legitimately don't know a daggum thing about this. Somebody, um, there was another article that was like, Oh, we know when it's coming out. And, uh, no you don't. No, you don't. Until I hear it straight from Lego. Like, they were like, oh, and it's gonna be like $200. Bullcrap! Bull crap! Like, I don't even... No. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, I we don't know anything about the uh, Lego set, which is maddeningly unhelpful at this point. Like, I would like that Lego set. I would just like to know if it's actually ever going to come out. I would, I would like to know that. And it doesn't seem like these guys want us to know that. <laughs> it's annoying. It's just annoying. But, I don't know. I am incredibly excited for those little people figurines. They are cute. They are so cute. Where's Billy? But they're so cute. I love them so much. They're probably going to get com uh, contact stripped or command stripped. Yeah, command hooks. That's what they're called. C uh, command hook to the wall <laughs> um, as well. That way they can uh, be preserved in mint condition forever. Since I no longer play with toys, um, I really wish I'd had those when I was a kid. Like, I really wish I'd had those when I was a kid. We would come up with so many different 
like little pretend adventures with our toys and I would have done so much with the Sanderson sisters toys that are coming out now like Hocus Pocus was my favorite thing I would I would have been like Andy with Woody with those things <laughs> like <sighs> four-year-old Casey is very jealous of all the kids right now <laughs> she's very jealous of all the kids who actually get to play with these toys I mean for me they're great collectors things but it's still kind of a bummer that we didn't have these when we were kids, and I'm sure several of you feel the same way. Um, that it's like, I really wish I had this whenever I was a little person who played with toys and could use my imagination freely. Like, it would have been, it would have been a lot of fun. It would have been a lot of fun. But, that's all I got for you guys right now. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It helps me. And what helps me helps you guys get more great content like this and any merch updates that I find out about. I will do a video on that while you guys are up to date and you know what's coming. Um, because we all want this stuff. <laughs> um, Saturday I will not be doing a Black Flame Gaming live stream. I'm going to be out of town for an early Mother's Day trip with my mom to Indiana Comic Con. So I will be gone. Um, I might hop in on our Discord, but if you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord um, and check in with you guys. But I'm going to be at a Comic Con, so I will not be there on Saturday night for Black Flame Gaming. I might, might try to do Sunday um, if we get back early enough, but I will most likely be exhausted, so don't hold me to that one. <laughs> um, might just be another week without Black Flame Gaming and then it'll be back. Um, on July 16th at uh, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be going live with a Hocus Pocus Trivia and Treats watch along here on the channel to celebrate Hocus Pocus's 30th anniversary. We're going to watch it along, and if you guys can get me to 1,500 subscribers, I will dress up as Sarah Sanderson for it. Hair, makeup, dress, all of it. <laughs> um, I will be dressed up as Sarah Sanderson for the... Uh, Watch along if you guys can get me to 1,500 subscribers, which we're under 30 right now. So, I mean, if, like, 29 of you hit, hit the thing, hit the button, we could get it. Um, so, I leave that in your hands. But, um... That is all I have for you guys today. If you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like and share your thoughts on the upcoming merch down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zoldeman, a.k.a. the Fort Sanderson sister, and I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am